Thanks for joining us today in this TechLinks training video. Today we're going to be looking at shared counters, which is a feature in CodeSoft Enterprise and LabelView Gold. And today we're going to be demonstrating it in CodeSoft 2018 Enterprise Edition. So the way we're going to be demonstrating shared counters is with two labels that I've prepared for us here. The first being our toys label and the second being a chrono label. So I'll open those up for us so we can see what they look like. So a toys label could stand in for any kind of product label that you may have. Um, and I need to serialize this label. So the way I would do that normally is just by creating a counter, call it serial, give it a value, and then set the max value to be the same number of digits as my current value. And then I'll hit OK and drag and drop it onto the label. So now if we were to go to print this label, we could see that when we print 30, our counter would increment in accordance with my 30. We see that updating up here in the top right. Now my challenge is I need to have this same value pushed over to another label. This, uh, my chrono label shares the same serial number. Uh, and it's kind of a pain to update both of them as soon as I print one label or the other. So the solution to that is a shared counter. I'll go ahead into the properties of my counter and just check this shared option here. Now what this does, it creates an external file that holds the value of my counter so that depending on what label I have open, it will pull that value. So I'll go over to my chrono label and create a counter here, call it serial. And as soon as I check the shared option, we'll notice that the value is pulled over from my previous label, which is my, uh, my toys label just make sure I match my digits here and I can do the same thing I can pull my value over just onto the label as a barcode here I'll go ahead and save and close my chrono label and then go ahead and send off a print job from my toys label So we can see my counter updated to 130 up here. I'll go ahead and save and close my label. And we'll notice that when I open my chrono label, immediately my value in my counter is 130. So if I were to go to print here, as I print 30, that counter value is updated. And if I were to close my label and reopen my toys label, that value is then brought in because they're using a shared counter, sharing the value between the two labels. Thank you for joining us today for this demo. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call on our tech support line or visit us at techlinks.com.